part with it. And I'm back for yet another video and I hope you guys are having a great time and welcome back to my channel, honey. So, yesterday or so, I got this comment that I should check something called Geography Now with the Philippines. You guys know I'm intrigued by the Philippines. I've heard too much about it. And yes, thanks, hashtag, thank you, Heart Evangelista. And of course, our favorite region, Valesquez. So, I want to see this. So, let's see the geography who let's let's see if you don't know anything about asia the philippines is like the jolliest of them all They're oh. just happy fun jolly people hey. and you know what <laughs> it's been three years i'm not taking this anymore oh. i've been pushed around i've been threatened i've been thrown in the dungeon i've been the butt of all the jokes oh i'm the filipino one this is my time my time ah! oh Honey, come to with that effect. <coughs> Welcome to the Philippines. My turn. Okay. Hey everyone, I'm Ken, and as you know, I'm half Filipino. Years ago, I was looking for a job and I saw this ad asking for a motion graphics animator on Craigslist. Oh, wow. And I literally met up at a Jollibee for my interview. He Jollibee. said I was his top three candidates. In oh. reality, there were only three candidates that applied, so technically I didn't lie, but yeah, the other two people kind of sucked, so yeah. Oh, and back then, I had this weird mustache and Paul's oh. hair was basically this thing. Ken and I have been talking for a long time and we agreed Ken definitely has to be in this episode. You've come so far from that Craigslist Jollibee interview, you've earned this. Thanks. Oh. Wow. Andana, Maximula. Ooh. The Philippines is an interesting country because there's sort of a dichotomy between labels. If you ask a Filipino if they consider themselves Asian or Pacific Islanders, you might get contrasting answers. What do you consider yourself, Ken? Eh, I always thought Pacific Islanders sounded kind of cool, so I usually stuck with that. So first of all, that makes a lot of sense. The archipelago of over 7,000 islands, about 2,000 of which are inhabited, and it is the largest island nation without any land borders or shared island territory with another nation. The country is located in Southeast Asia, straddling the Philippines, no border. Sea, the South China Sea in the west, and the Sulu and celibacy in the south. Just to skip away lies the island of Borneo, which is split So they just have the they are their own world, literally. Miles 40 kilometers away from the nearest island that belongs to the Philippines. Now in general, miles? many people will refer to one of the three main island clusters we know <laughs> that people are a part of. There are Luzon in the north, where you can find the capital Manila, and where the half of the population lives, Visaya oh. in the center, and Mindanao in the south. Otherwise, the nation is made up of 17 regions. One of I the love their flag. The flag, I'm sorry. Philippines, your flag is... It's cute. It's like. More about this later. If you want to be absolutely technical, uh, Quezon City, a bit north of it's Manila. It's cute. Is that flag is cute. Buildings. However, the surrounding 16 towns and cities by Manila are called. Manila. Some flags are so the simple, but that flag, it's, an, it's nice. Red, Otherwise, the largest blue. city outside of the NCR are Davao City in Mindanao and Mindanao, Cebu in the Visayas. Ooh. Manila has a Cebu, yes. Airport. I've heard about Cebu. International Airport, which is basically the hub that services the entire NCR. They no. Busiest shipping port at the port of Manila. Otherwise, the second largest airport is Cebu Mactan International, and rounding out for third place is Davao City Francisco Bangoy International. In terms of land transport, though, the Philippines is well connected <laughs> amongst the islands. In fact, the longest highway is the Pan Philippine Highway that stretches about 3,500 kilometers. Okay, the way the. It connects Luzon, Samar, Liet, and Mindanao. The ship of the Philippines, how do you put that in a map? has only two territorial disputes. The state of it has so many highlands. On North Borneo, the territory once had been part of the Sultanate of Sulu, a Muslim state that existed the 15th century to the 20th century, and that's a whole other story. Saba. So the other dispute, as we mentioned quite a few times already, this whole area known as the Spratly Islands is a complete mess. If you don't know anything about it, <laughs> I love it. it. Oh, so yeah, that's pretty crazy. This is the map showing what everyone claims in the area. This big one right here is China's. Like, yeah, they just kind of pretty much went for all of it. Oh, so they all fight skirmishes between nations. That oh my God, you're stuck in the middle of. If you spot a ship that gets too close, things can get kind of ugly. Oh wow. Oh my God, this. Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing? This is my area. I'm uh, just. Doing some fishing and research. <laughs> you know? Why do you have a shovel then? Are you b building something? Or? Well, technically, there's no land protruding from this reef, so uh, there's no land claim. So you're just gonna build your own land for research. 
Anyway, here are some notable spots. That's it. You see what I'm the saying? Other, Places like the cross, Oh my god. Sagada hanging coffins. Aguilando shrine. Samu Philippine Taoist Temple. Hanging shrine coffins. of Mount Mary and Pagai Tai. The Lapu Lapu Shrine. Luneta Park. MacArthur Landing Site. Bunawi Rice Terraces. The Malacanang Palace. Vigan has many historical and colonial buildings. The various national museums of history and arts. Tons of amusement parks. Okay, man, in love, Philippines, you guys are insane. I love it. An underground river. The most what amazing beautiful beaches in the universe. They have Those so many like lumps of fish. chocolate. And there's an island in a lake, in an island, in a lake, in an island. Huh. We should hang out sometime. Yeah, when you have 7,000 tropical islands on a volcanic <sighs> archipelago, chances are things can get pretty crazy landscape wise. Yep. Which brings us to. <laughs> The actual physical land of the Philippines is the biggest treasure you will find here for sure. Oh, anyway, the Philippines lies on the Ring of Fire and is specifically on the tectonic plate. Oh, the Ring of Fire like the movies. So there's a place called that. If I was going to give it to anybody, I had to give it to you. Made up of the 11 largest islands. The country was essentially formed through the tectonic activity between the Philippines, Manila, and the Mindanao Trenches. The Mindanao being the second deepest in the world. Oh, wow. This makes the country susceptible to small earthquakes and minor volcanic <laughs> activity. About 53 active volcanoes can be found in all Stop. Islands, except for Palawan. The most famous and picturesque of oh these God. include these three. See this island here, Tamiguin? It actually has more volcanoes than towns on it. Seven versus five, making Fuck it no. with the most number of volcanoes per square kilometer. So people area. cannot live there. In fact, the tallest peak in the Philippines is a potentially active volcano, oh. Mount Apo, located in the South Mindanao area. The country has numerous mountain ranges and highlands that dip into the fertile valleys. The largest range being the Cordillera Range in the North Luzon area, hooking into the Sierra Madre Range. On the east side, which feeds the longest river of the country, the okay, Gaia, Philippine, you guys are the savages. This valley, Your landmark is Valley, are the largest arable crops. Has a life of its own. All of the rice in the Philippines. The oh, Sias are known for growing the most sugarcane, whereas Mindanao specializes heavy in oh, and sugarcane. Back in Luzon, though, you can find the largest lake in the country, Lake Laguna Dabai, which is actually in the caldera of a dormant volcano. The lake has a weird detached island. Oh, this from Kami, one country. It's actually drained by the Pasig River that flows through the capital, Manila. And oh. finally, the country is the heart of typhoon territory. They can come at almost any time of the year. The nation oh, will experience bitch. on average about 20 of the turbulent storms annually no. flood to their many river systems. But yeah, if anything, Filipinos are the most cyclone adapted people on earth. They're used to it. The water has always been kind of their thing. Swimming, sailing, fishing. Just not exactly quite diving into it. Otherwise, the Philippines is one of the seven <laughs> <What? laughs> largest so funny. biodiversity in the world within their waters and the highest rate of animal discovery on the planet with 16 new mammal species that were discovered in the past decade alone. Uh, they have everything from the longest snake in the world, <laughs> articulated python. Oh, hell no. World, whale sharks. Seven of the eight. Whale sharks? Giant clam a whale? The, and the okay. world's smallest hoofed animal, the Philippine mouse deer. <laughs> and their national bird is the largest eagle in the world. Economically Fuck. speaking, the Philippines is considered a newly industrialized nation. It is transitioning out of becoming an agricultural based system to a service and manufacturing based one. Oh. They have like three of the Say what now? The top 10 largest malls on I know. Wait, I'm taking the top spot soon. They're one of the fastest growing <laughs> economies in Asia. They're the third largest economy in the world. Their GDP purchasing power parity has surpassed the $2 trillion mark. Basically, Stop. the Philippines is definitely becoming a key power player in the world stage. It's like, <laughs> we're, we're so rich. <laughs> Wealth and prosperity. Someday. For what it's worth, though, mining, fishing, and agriculture are strong industries as well. They are currently the world's largest nickel and abaca or manila hemp producers and the second largest coconut producer oh my, in Indonesia. That's Jordan, dope. Though, is I love coconuts so much. Of about 8% of their GDP. If I'm there, I'll go crazy just eating coconuts. And now, food! Yeah. Now, in the Philippines, every region. Honey, you guys know I'm scared of the food, guys. Every dish looks like a fairy exploded. Lots of dishes you can eat kumakai and kamai, or eat with your hands. Yeah, pretty much. Don't give me balut at all. You're gonna get a lot of balut? salt and vinegar, and uh -uh. a lot of like, I don't care if that looks like it goes there or not, I'm still gonna eat it anyway. <laughs> Filipino food. Yeah. <laughs> There's really no official national food, but the three that. that are well known for are adobo, lumpia, and sinigang. And in the non-Muslim parts, lechon is a huge deal. They're all oh. just like Tagalog steak, dinola, pancit luglu, kare Honey, I'm steak, vegan. Uh-uh. Alut, kinilaw. Oh, but my favorite Filipino dish, palabok. Just put some nice little lemon juice on it. I actually got this at Jollibee. If you don't know what Jollibee is, it's like the most popular fast food. Yeah, I've okay. had. Like if McDonald's and KFC adopted a Filipino baby, and they even added spaghetti to their menu for some reason. Otherwise, Filipinos are dessert experts. They love 
or ube? Ube everything. Ube ice cream. Okay, ube I, can ube I can eat that. Yes, I can eat that. It has the yams. Like Sapin, Sapin, and cassava cakes. Those are the best desserts in my opinion. Cassava cake? Halo halo, leche flan, duron, buko, kanskan, and puto. What you call me? If you're either Latin American or Spanish, <laughs> I you know that's what I want. Are also found in Latin cuisines. And there's a reason for that. Puto! Uh, I've been called puto all the time at work. I didn't know. <laughs> Only in the Philippines can you find people that have Spanish names, speak English, celebrate an Austronesian culture, and cook Chinese. General MacArthur once said, Give me a thousand Filipino soldiers and I will conquer the world. Yeah, for some reason, Filipinos are like the best friends of Asia. Filipinos still have the best <laughs> attitudes and smiles. They even give time off felony sentences if the prisoners volunteer to take part in a Michael Jackson dance performance to the public. Uh, but we're getting ahead of ourselves. First, the graph. The country has about 110 million people and is the eighth most populated country in Asia. Oh, wow. And the 12th most populated country in the world. There are about 175 ethno-linguistic people groups in the Philippines, the majority of whose languages are Austronesian. Of these groups, oh, the largest are the Tagalog at about 28%, 13% are Cebuano, 9% okay, are Tagalog, Tagalog sounds fucking are sexy. Messiah. The rest are made up of like other groups, sexy. plus a small minority of non-native citizens, mostly Asians and Americans. It's important oh. to note, though, that the Philippines has about 10.2 million people overseas worldwide. It is one of the largest diaspora populations, spanning over 100 countries. The U.S. alone has about 4 million. I mean, they were at one point colonized by the U.S., so... So it makes... Yes. Filipino peso as the currency, they use the text A, B, and C plug outlets, and they drive on the right side of the road. Oh, and keep in mind, the word oh. Pinoy is synonymous with something that is Filipino. You might see that yes. used a lot. Now back to the ethnic groups thing. Since there are over 175 of them, you would think, how do they all communicate? Well, the Philippines has two official okay. languages. English, which makes it the fifth most English We drive on the left and side. And Filipino, which is the standardized okay. version of Tagalog. They drive the on the right, Tagalog like the UK, the British. Is a very different from pure Tagalog. It actually has about 14% Spanish, 10% Malay, and 7% English mixed into it with a slew of other borrowed loan words. You can even yeah. influence in words like pintelador, guapo, zapatos, and familia. Often, Filipinos will substitute an F with a P. Or a V with a B. Or a V with a Oh, that's why right, it's a Filipino with an F. Oh. High five with minimal consonants. Yay! <laughs>